Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. With Ramadan coming closer to us, we need to be organized. Uh, Ramadan is a golden opportunity. It's a precious, precious jewel that we must take advantage of. We cannot let it go uh, without uh, having harvested everything that we could from that uh, month. And therefore, we must be organized and know how to properly utilize our time. And the only way we can do that is to properly plan how to manage our time. It's not science, rocket science. It's, uh, it's easy uh, if we just think about it. Uh, let's take a day from Fajr, right? We need to wake up before Fajr. This is, this is how the, a suggested plan, to wake up before Fajr for two reasons. Number one, to supplicate Allah Azza wa Jal, ask His forgiveness and mention Him subhanahu wa ta'ala and to eat the pre-dawn meal uh, before the crack of dawn. The suhoor meal is something that was legislated by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, and the best of the food to be eaten there is dates. Now it's time for Fajr. If you don't have wudu, perform wudu, get ready to perform Salat al-Fajr. If the adhan is, uh, is heard in the place you're in, repeat with the muaddin. If you're in a country or a place that uh, adhan is not heard, then one of the people in the household calls the adhan and the others repeat after him. And then after that, uh, you pray the two rak'ahs, sunnah of Salatul Fajr, and then uh, perform Salatul Fajr as a congregation with your family or your roommates or what have you. Or if you're a single person living alone, perform it alone. After that, you stay in your place, finish the adhkar of the salah, the legislated adhkar and supplications after salah, and then after that start uh, the adhkar of the morning, and recite some Qur'an and all that until the sun rises and then pray the two rak'ah of Ishraq, of sunrise. After the time of Ishraq, 15 minutes have passed from the time of Ishraq is when you're legislated, when it's legislated to pray these uh, two rak'ahs and you're promised by the Prophet Sallallahu to get the reward of Hajj and Umrah, complete. Uh, now, finished, prayed, Make sure you maintain yourself in the state of dhikr all the day. When you put on a, uh, your, your garment, when you take it off, when you enter the bathroom, leave the bathroom, when you start wudu, after the wudu, uh, when you uh, walk out, if you can walk out, if you're allowed to go to work or go shopping uh, for food or something, then the mention of walking out and back into the house uh, when you get into the car, Busy yourself with all the legislated adhkar throughout the day and the night, when you go to bed, when you wake up from bed, and so on and so forth. Make that day and every day of Ramadan a day full of uh, adhkar so that you are described, as Allah says, Allah those males and females who abundantly mention Allah Azza. Uh, be punctual on salah. Don't delay your salawat, your prayers for any reason. As soon as the time is due or you hear the adhan, get ready. If you don't have wudu, get wudu. Pray the, the sunnah before, if there is a sunnah before. And then pray the fard. Do your adhkar. Sit in your place. Do the sunnah after that, if there is a uh, legislated sunnah to be prayed after that. Now, Salatul Asr in particular, after you finish Salatul Asr, it's recommended to pray four rak'ahs before Asr, but it's not a confirmed uh, optional prayer. But the Prophet ﷺ promised mercy for those who uh, continuously pray four as two, two rak'ahs before Salat al-Asr. After Salat al-Asr is finished and you had finished your adhkar for the Salah, make sure you start with the adhkar of the evening and finish them. Now, if you have the time, if you have the privilege of sitting without having to go and cook if you're a single person or uh, if you're the wife then you have to go and, uh, and cook and prepare uh, for the family. But if not from Asr until Maghrib then at least just before Maghrib make sure everything is done and you're free at least for the last 10 minutes and raise your hands 
and ask Allah Azza wa Jal. Remember, there is a, a supplication that is an answered for the person who is fasting every night uh, in Ramadan. Salatul Taraweeh. Now that the qadr of Allah Azza wa Jal is that we cannot pray in the masjid. So let's not, under the pretext of being unable to pray it in the masjid, not pray it and allow shaitan to make us lazy and then go to sleep and say, okay, we'll pray it before Fajr and then wake up late for Fajr and lose out on the reward of all previous sins being forgiven for those who pray every night, Qiyam al-Layl in Ramadan, whether alone or in the masjid within Taraweeh. So pray Taraweeh. If you're alone or if you have the family with you, then gather them and pray Taraweeh. Uh, go to bed. When you go to bed, be in the state of wudu. Mention all the afkar of, uh, of sleeping and, go and, and then sleep. Utilize your free time. You're a person who works after work, after you have ful had fulfilled the, the hours or the tasks that are allocated to you by your boss or your company or whatever. Uh, then try to utilize the time that you have after that in something that's beneficial, that you will benefit from in the hereafter. Don't try to kill time, as some people may call it, because you'll be killing yourself and killing the opportunity of entering Jannah and expiating your sins. Utilize the time. Manage it in a proper way to benefit from it, instead of just wasting it. Recite as much as possible of the Qur'an. Put a goal for yourself. I want to finish the Qur'an once, twice four times, whatever, in Ramadan. Set a goal and work for it. Allocate a time that you will not give up for anything to sit and recite Quran. Only to recite Quran. Give charity, no matter how little it is, try to give charity on daily basis. Uh, one of the things that uh, are recommended during Ramadan is to feed people or give people the, the uh, meal of iftar to break the fast with. This might be difficult when you're sitting at home. However, there might be charitable uh, organizations in the country you live in that uh, provide this service. You pay them online and they will do that on your behalf. Try to take uh, a small nap right before Salat al-Dhuhr or right after Salat al-Dhuhr to comfort your body and relax your brain and uh, get energy for yourself to be able to continue the fast and to pray taraweeh and wake up for fajr. This is a suggested program for the 24 hours of the day. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal uh, to benefit us. Uh, it's not uh, restricted. Things are not restricted to what's mentioned here, but it's just a suggestion. You can alter it, you know, delete and add uh, to your convenience. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept. Assalamu alaikum.